So here we are, my friends, back at the Waking Sands. I think we need to thank Ariange for his information. Let him think to keep from things from going to total disaster. And we even made a new friend in the process. Even if he is a bit catatonic right now. Hooray! He knows math! Yeah, yeah, I already kind of explained this, Ariange. This is just kind of just a summary of like all the information we, we've already known before, but couldn't put together. Yeah. Although technically, to be fair, it's more the stuff the player knew about, but not necessarily the Warrior of Light and the Scions. Because some of this information is really old and from like the, the scenes we've seen with the Asians discussing among themselves and all that sort of stuff. No, 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 no. Stop bringing her fucking name into this unless you're actually gonna tell me what the fuck they actually did with her. Like, is she still in prison? Did they just execute her ass? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, she is, she is so not done with you, Ariage. She is so not done with you. Oh my god, they're actually using the Link Pearls for once. Holy shit, you guys. Oh, what a shock of the fucking century there, Thancred. Yeah, sorry about that, thank Red. Sorry about that. Good job, though. Good job. Yeah, we're not sitting down about that one. We, we were just kind of told about that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, thank Red. Kind of steal your thunder there. Alright, so yeah, apparently he's just decided to storm off again. Ugh, she's gotta stop making a habit out of this. Oh, that lovely office. I haven't been in so damn long. Yeah, funny how you don't really treat him as such. She did, at least at one point. 
Like, when she ditched the rest of the Scions, he was the only one she was kind of communicating with and sticking around. But I'm sure we'll find out what they're up to soon enough. I mean, we the players obviously are fully aware of what's going on, but they have no idea. And she's not being forthcoming about this. So, it's been a while since we've been here. I wonder if they know that poor Wil Wilred is dead. I mean, I know he tried to kind of, tried to kind of kill us away a while back, but, but he turned a good leaf. He did. He became a good friend in the end, and then met his untimely end at the hands of those blue-coated bastards. I'll get to them one day. I will. Well, you got shot in the shoulder, like, yesterday. Yeah, he doesn't really speak plain English. Uh, okay. So, um, I think it would be kind of a good idea for someone to, to actually tell us, like... Thinker has to walk everywhere, basically. Magic's been compromised, all that stuff. That That's ultimately what it means and why he had to sit around and hang around the, the Bath and the Nath encampments and whatnot because he had no way to get back. Like, where the hell is he going to do? Walk all that damn way? Especially when it's unfamiliar territory? Yeah. So, at least he has an excuse why why he didn't come back. But, not that there's been much time, but, but does someone want to fill her in on this? Like, somebody could have told her something, anything while she was waiting for us to come back from Zelfatal. Or at the very least, let's just have Thancred be like, yeah, don't wait up for me, because, you know, gonna have to walk in all that shit. Well, how about I say I'm the warrior of the light and threaten to punch them in the face if they do not cough up the info. Okay, a little violent, but considering how much I have s saved everybody's asses here on New York's Year, they owe me some. Seriously. What? 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 No, 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 no. What, what are you talking about, dude? Stuck in the thing. Slow down here. Who are you talking about? Who is this Griffin? Are you talking about shit with the Garleans? Shipment of crystals. All I kind of give a shit about right now. Okay, you guys were not in the least bit helpful about information I needed. Thanks. Alright, alright, did you choose spare, spare any better? Okay, fine, fine. You know, game, a little bit of more of a segue into, into this next revelation of the plot would have been nice because the reason I came here is because the Resistance is supposedly set up to receive possibly shipment of crystals. That's what I'm actually supposed to be giving a shit about right now. How about these masks and all this other crap?
Yes, now would you kindly please tell me what the hell is going on and what in the world everyone is babbling about? Wait for him, the sucker has to walk! Would somebody please tell her this? I mean, not that she doesn't probably need some good rest after being shot in the damn shoulder yesterday, but... Uh, it's not quite that simple, honey, but I, I can completely understand why you might think that. But, yeah, yeah, game, game shifting in tone and story a little bit too abruptly here, because... This whole thing started with, hey, Warriors of Darkness. You know, trying to go the Beastmen into summoning primals and shit, so we keep killing the primals, they summon new and stronger gods, blah 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 blah, leads to another calamity. That that's that's the end game here. Like, what is all this shit that's going on right here? Like this not not that I blame the plot. Because other things do happen, like the world is a very, very complicated place, and there's often more than one thing going on, and oftentimes, especially in, you know, a game, those things are interconnected. But this just took a shift way too quickly. We're trying to potentially stop an imminent primal summering, and the game just all of a sudden completely dropped that part. Brothers and sisters, 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Yeah, survival is kind of important. Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. We abandon them, our own flesh and blood, to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out, building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. Not to interrupt your little patriotic speech here, but that is one of the sad costs of war. Okay? Yeah, you ran away, but you still live and breathe to fight another day. We abandon them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. We abandon them, the meek and powerless, to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass. To sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. Alright, you gonna keep going with this guilt trip here? The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Eorzean Alliance will do naught to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. 
Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. Because they're not stupid enough to actually go actively piss the Empire off. They don't fuck they around. They have imprisoned us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us. But no more. Blood demands blood, and the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it, and together we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Arbania once more! Uh, uh, guys, 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 have you not heard about what happened to Doma? War the power succession? befitting their pride. Not at all ominous, that. Shut up, Alphanon, I'm talking here. Yeah, uh, Warrior Succession, they decided to take advantage of it and tried to take back their homeland, and the Garleans were having none of that fucking shit, and they raised it to the goddamn ground. Okay, you're looking at a similar fate if you pick this fight. Don't be a bunch of idiots. Wait, is that... You have got to be fucking kidding me. What are you two doing here? I would ask the same goddamn thing of you! I could ask you the same thing. Yeah! Dude, like, home is right around the fucking corner! Well, well, this is quite the surprise. Do you mind stopping in once in a while? If you see what I see, if you feel as I feel... Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? Yeah, where there's no witnesses while I punch you both in the face. Do you have any idea how much we were worried about you guys? Tataru is gonna have a fit. So, yeah, yeah. They, they've literally been practically right around the corner this whole time. Stop in and say hello. Leave a message with somebody. You've been on the Eorzean soil, okay? It's not like Minifilia, Mommy, Dearest, and Hori, Boulder, and them who were actually sailed across the sea and thus didn't, weren't in the know that, you know, we were declared innocent of all crimes. Well, technically, again, we were never actually formally accused, but that's neither here nor there. I'm sure word has gone pretty far around that, yeah, everything is all hunky-dory and stuff. Like, the Domans have been around everywhere. They're continuing their search and whatever. I'm sure somewhere along the line, you guys have probably learned that everything was A-OK -okay and it was perfectly safe to stop in and at least tell us you were alive. Even if what you're doing now is important, at least stop in and say hello. I am, like, this close to putting your face on a goddamn milk carton. What the serious fuck? Oh, well, gee, what has happened? Uh, I've only made a few new friends. Saw a couple of them get killed. Uh, Ishgard's government has completely reformed. I uh, killed one of the great children of Midgard Zomart fucking twice. Stopped a thousand year war between man and the dragons. Uh, was temporarily infused with the power of Hrace Frogar's eye, only to give it back. I have made friends with men. Do I even need to go on? Fucking hell, Papa Limo. I've been through hell and back, and you guys have been just fucking sitting here letting me worry about you? Are you mad? Well, I'm glad you had faith in me, Eden, though, but again, send me a letter. Something. Oh, 
Oh, but yet the, the Crystal Braves had never had any chance of capturing the uh, the Scions, huh? Well, apparently you might have been had you not gotten help. Okay, that's all well and good. Send a letter home. You have the power to fucking teleport! You could have easily done so in the cover of fucking night. I'm sure the Domans have been floating around. I'm sure you would have found one of them to send a letter to. Yeah, apparently not. Well, because they probably see you in line as, you know, with the Alliance, who apparently they see as a bunch of pussies. So, we're dealing with a double here. Okay. Yeah, sure, Ada. Keep telling yourself that. It's fine, though. We know you're the resident village idiot. Well, we actually started here to, to trace the cache of crystals because Warriors of Darkness, Primal Summoning, yeah, yeah, that. I wasn't supposed to be caught in up on all this, but apparently the plot demanded I be, so... Well, I'm glad to see you're still your jovial self there, Ida. Uh, no, 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 no. First, first, you're gonna call home, and you're gonna tell them you're fine. Okay? Tataru is probably gonna be so upset with you that she's not even gonna make you anything. You see, 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 Shorty has some fancy new duds here. No, no! Dude, dude, they may not have Link Pearls anymore! We do! Call them up right fucking now! That's all you have to do. Hi, we found Ida and Papa Lima. We're in the middle of an important operation here. We can't talk. Hey, thanks. Bye. You'd be surprised, Ida. You'd be surprised. Can we at least call up Alize and, like, tell her, yeah, fuck waiting for Thancred, we've got a different situation over here on our hands? Is this really gonna work? You know, our faces should be should be common knowledge by now, like saviors of the realm. And I still think Shorty Pants over here needs a fucking medal for all he helped with stopping the war. Like that 90% of it wasn't even me, it was all his ideas. I was just the one punching people in the face and the nuts. I mean, yeah, that's kinda dangerous, but I we wouldn't be halfway where we are if we're not playing let's make friends with everybody and everything. What do you mean you're identity to real None of you bother to fucking cover up your damn tattoos. That still just annoys me so damn much. Like, I know they can't just, like, 
remove them from the models and pretend they're wearing makeup on them or something, but have them wear clothing or something that conceals them. Or even I will even take a line of dialogue about them referencing that and that they're, they're putting themselves at risk because they are visible. Like, there are people in, in, over here in ARZ who may, who may not know the actual meaning behind the tattoos, but you would think somebody would have figured out that they're associated, even if their assumption is partially incorrect, with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Seriously! Alvin, you're fucking rich! Yeah, and, uh, by the way, by the way, you know what, we're not gonna do this yet. We're not gonna do this just yet. Of course, I had to get the stupid goddamn airship. Now, this is the one thing that really kind of pisses me off about the story right now, okay? She's actually not standing here anymore, all right? You'll, no you'll take notice of that. Elise is still waiting for Thancred, okay? And I know they meant it as a convenient plot plot device to accident to, to just kind of temporarily write her out of the story. For the time being, which which I can understand, with both her being reintroduced and Edith and Papa Limo at once, especially since they haven't seen her in a long time either, things are just going to get complicated, and you're either going to risk spending too much time discussing the reunion or whatever, or not enough time devoting any time to it at all, just leaving an air of confusion. So I can completely understand that. Why have her wait here for Thancred? If we, everything else we discussed was way over there, we just got caught up in the heat of the moment, barring the whole problem I said that, yeah, we're hooked up on Link Pearl, but let's just put that aside for a moment. That we get caught up in the moment and didn't have time to inform her. I could let that go. However, we return to the very place where she is supposedly fucking waiting for Thancred. And you're telling me we can't even address the matter of, oh, shit, maybe we should tell her what the fuck is going on? Are you serious right now, game? Or hell, we have Thancred on the Link Pearl too. Let's call him up. Hey, what's taking your ass so long? We have a different situation on our hands. By the way, Eden and Papa Leo are back and they're totally fine. <sighs> Game, you are absolutely completely fucking insufferable from time to time. Like, I, I know I can get somewhat absurd in, in my demands of what I ask for in details, but this is one thing that... that I'm sorry, I just can't let go because it's something that absolutely should have been addressed and if they weren't planning on addressing it, I need to repair my gear for, li for, 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 for lack of time or, or without being able to, to properly segue into the narrative, that's fine. I understand that. Don't dig yourself into that hole in the damn first place and that's exactly what they did. Alright, so we need to try on some, uh, some old weathered stuff. You look completely dashing, young man. Okay, something tells me you're not gonna play, be able to play dumb enough. That you're a down on your luck adventure. My thanks, comrades. You must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. A great interest, you might say. Oh my god, you you can't act your way out of a paper bag, young your man. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans, but you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. Oh my god, I cannot take him- I know he's trying to just fake it here, but I cannot fucking take him seriously here. 
I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you were planning to summon a primal. Because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. Oh, so 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 they so they did track down uh, what Ishgardian was actually smoking them. Okay, good. Thanks. Well, he could be bluffing here, but yeah, thanks for explaining that to me, game. It probably is bluffing, but I'd like to hear more about the Griffin, the real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us, dude. If we're gonna threaten him, we might as well pull off the weapons while we're here right now. Ah, the famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you lot. You are right. I am not the Griffin, but I speak with his voice, and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. Okay. We used them to reach an accord with the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. Well, the fact that it's not you personally that's summoning a primal is not really what's important here. The crystals are going to be used to summon a primal, therefore you are directly responsible for the summoning of the primal, even if you're not the one who performed the ritual. I'm not this dumb. You've got to be joking. Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Alamigo will never be free. Yeah, you tell Amita. See, even the dumb one thinks your plan is stupid. This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. And you're gonna meet death at every turn at the end. Just saying. Now can I punch him? What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Amalja? What? Aside from a lack of crystals? None. But the beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. I hope your asses all get tempered. Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have naught to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Ida and I will find it. Then let us be off. Are you perchance the warrior of light? Oh my god, somebody who knows me? Aye. I, I thought so. You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave woman can make a difference. You saved me too once. Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a lifetime ago. On behalf of my brothers and sisters, I thank you. You gave us hope where there was none, courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not squander your gift. All right, well, well, I certainly thank you for your honesty, and I thank you for that, uh, that I've actually spurred you into action yourself. I know that look, Ida, and I do not like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I thought you were going to go search the camp for the crystals. I... I just... Uh, he told you you might want to fucking hurry. If the Griffin and his men have their way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. 
Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. You mustn't lose sight of that, Ida. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done. So, yeah, anyway, False Griffin is kind of okay, I guess. I think I that they're being kind of stupid, thinking they can take on the damn Empire, but... But... He's alright. He's alright. But, yeah, um... Yeah, Ida is Alamegan. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, and I'm still on, let's inform your sister of everything that's fucking happened. Hmm. Let's have some pie. Pie sounds good right now. I'm a little bit hungry. So that's going to be it for this episode. Let me get the hell out of these clothes. They are very, very smelly. There we go. That feels much better. Thank you for watching, my friends. And we'll see what we can find next time. Hopefully we don't have to fight fucking Ifrit, too. God.